No, 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 no. The 2014 film Need for Speed, starring Aaron Paul, may not have been a major blockbuster, but it holds a special place in the realm of video game adaptations. Released during the height of Paul's fame post-Breaking Bad, the film follows Toby Marshall, a former race car driver turned mechanic. After being framed for the death of his friend during an illegal street race by wealthy rival Dino Brewster, Toby is falsely convicted and spends time in prison. Upon his release, he embarks on a cross-country journey to take down Dino, entering a high-stakes race in San Francisco. Accompanied by his co-pilot, Julia Madden, Toby's path is fraught with adrenaline-pumping races and personal vendettas, encapsulating the themes of revenge and redemption. Despite receiving mixed reviews, Need for Speed was praised for its exhilarating car chases and practical effects, which set it apart from the heavy CGI-dependent action films of the time. Now, after several years of speculation, Need for Speed 2 is gaining traction, with fans and industry insiders eagerly awaiting what could be a new era for the franchise. There's been much speculation surrounding the potential storyline for Need for Speed 2. While it's uncertain whether the sequel will continue the story of Toby Marshall or shift focus to a new protagonist, fans are hopeful for Aaron Paul's return. Paul's performance as Toby was a key highlight of the original, and his involvement in the sequel would likely draw a substantial audience. However, the franchise may also take the opportunity to introduce new characters and conflicts, potentially freshening up the storyline while still maintaining ties to the first film. One of the critical questions is whether the sequel will again center around a revenge plot or move into new thematic territory. A continuation of Toby's story could delve deeper into his past and motivations, offering more character development and emotional depth. Alternatively, if the film chooses to introduce a new lead, it could explore different aspects of the underground racing world or high-stakes competitions. Themes such as redemption, teamwork, and personal growth would fit well within the Need for Speed framework, especially if the film aims to provide more than just action-packed racing sequences. As of now, there's no official release date, but several promising updates have emerged. In 2019, Electronic Arts, the video game company behind the Need for Speed franchise, announced a collaboration with One Race Films to develop the sequel. Neil Moritz, one of the original producers, confirmed in an interview that a script is in progress and they are actively searching for a director. Moritz expressed excitement for the project, promising that the sequel would be a big, fun and exciting ride reminiscent of the first film's energy and thrills. In addition to the potential return of Aaron Paul, there have been several high-profile actors expressing interest in joining the Need for Speed franchise. John Cena, the WWE superstar turned actor, has voiced his enthusiasm for the series citing his love for cars and action-heavy roles. Cena's involvement could bring a new dynamic to the sequel as his persona and presence align with the film's high-octane atmosphere. Similarly, Ludacris, who has become a fan favorite in the Fast and Furious franchise, has also expressed interest in being part of Need for Speed 2. Given his background in both music and film, Ludacris could add star power and a fresh musical element to the movie's soundtrack which was a defining feature of the first film. In addition of actors like Cena and Ludacris would certainly elevate the excitement surrounding the sequel, especially for fans of action-packed racing films. When it comes to potential directors, two names have surfaced as frontrunners, Joseph Kaczynski and Justin Lin. Kaczynski, known for directing visually stunning films like Tron Legacy and Oblivion, could bring a unique aesthetic to Need for Speed 2. His expertise in blending practical effects with cutting-edge technology would likely enhance the sequel's visual appeal, offering breathtaking car chases and high-speed action. On the other hand, Justin Lin, the mastermind behind several installments of the Fast and Furious series, is also a strong candidate. Lin's experience in creating adrenaline-pumping car sequences and ensemble-driven action films makes him a natural fit for Need for Speed 2. If Lin were to take the helm, the film could adopt a more team-oriented narrative, with multiple drivers coming together for a common cause. The original Need for Speed movie delivered on the promise of high-speed car chases and intense action, but many fans felt the plot and character development were lacking. For the sequel to succeed, it will need to strike a balance between exhilarating racing scenes and a more compelling, emotionally resonant story. 
While action is undoubtedly the main draw, adding depth to the characters and exploring themes such as redemption or the camaraderie between drivers could elevate the sequel beyond just a visual spectacle. Fans also hope for an even greater variety of vehicles in Need for Speed 2. The first film showcased an impressive lineup of cars, ranging from classic muscle cars to exotic supercars. The sequel has the opportunity to expand on this, incorporating newer models and perhaps even concept cars, which would appeal to car enthusiasts and general audiences. Another significant element that fans are anticipating is the use of practical effects. One of the standout features of the original film was its commitment to practical stunts, which made the car chases feel more realistic and immersive. In an era where many action films rely heavily on CGI, continuing to prioritize practical effects in Need for Speed 2 would give the film a distinctive edge. This approach would not only enhance the realism of the racing scenes, but also pay homage to the craftsmanship that made the first movie's action sequences so captivating. And lastly, the soundtrack for Need for Speed 2 is expected to play a vital role in shaping the film's overall tone and atmosphere. The first movie featured a mix of electronic and rock music, with contributions from artists like Linkin Park and Kid Cudi. Fans are hoping for a similarly dynamic soundtrack that complements the high-energy action on screen. With the potential involvement of Ludacris, the sequel could feature a more diverse range of musical genres, further enhancing the excitement of the racing sequences. Need for Speed 2 is part of a broader trend of video game adaptations that have been gaining traction in recent years. Hollywood's interest in bringing popular video game franchises to the big screen has grown, with several highly anticipated projects currently in development. One such adaptation is the Minecraft movie, directed by Peter Sollett, best known for Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. The film will follow a teenage girl's journey to save the overworld from an ender dragon, blending the creative sandbox-style gameplay of Minecraft with a compelling narrative. Initially slated for release in March 2022, the movie was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic and is now scheduled for April 4, 2025. Another major project in the works is the God of War series, which is being developed by Prime Video. Well, that's it for today. With so many exciting video game adaptations on the horizon, from Need for Speed 2 to The Last of Us and beyond, it's clear that this genre is really picking up momentum. Whether you're into high-octane car chases or epic storytelling from beloved games, there's something for everyone. Which upcoming adaptation are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. Oh, my God.